Hey there, my friend. It's Dr. A from the Fit Father Project, and I want to welcome you to today's Q&A here inside Fit Father for Life. And the question is, Dr. A, what is the deal with these ketogenic diets? If you've heard this word keto before, and you're a little unsure about, is ketogenic diet actually good for fat loss? How does that relate to what we're preaching here at the Fit Father Project? And just what's the deal in general? Well, in this video, we're going to break all that down. I know you're going to learn a ton. And again, as a Fit Father for Life member, you get direct Q&A access to me and my team. So when you have questions, you can and submit them here inside the Fit Father for Life membership site. I get those questions and then I'll be able to respond back to you via video. So this one's a great topic. We're going to learn a ton. Let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so ketogenic diet, what is it, what does it mean? Well, first off, I'd like to look at the general breakdown of the composition of the ketogenic diet. And the way to look at that is the macronutrient composition. And what macros are, and I'm sure you may be familiar at this point uh, in your journey here with us at the Fit Father Project, are protein, carbs, and fats. And all diets are made up of different proportions of protein, carbs, and fats. So on one end of the spectrum, we have like very high carbohydrate diets. So let's take someone who's like a, a plant-based vegan, where there are a lot of their calories they're getting from carbs, some naturally occurring fats and nuts and seeds, um, and lower proportion of protein. So what their diet might end up looking like is something like 80% carbohydrates, 10% fat, 10% protein. So of their calories, 80% is coming from carbs, 10 from fat, 10 from protein. On the total other end of the spectrum is something like a ketogenic diet, where 80% of the calories are coming from fat, 10% of the calories are coming from carbs, 10 from protein. And sometimes those protein and carbs might be even lower. So it's almost a pure fat diet. So really important to understand the composition. And now these diets that do work, if they work for weight loss, um, do put your body in a calorie deficit, meaning um, whether you're following a ketogenic diet or you're following a high carb, like plant-based diet in this case, if the diet's gonna help you lose weight, it is gonna put your body in a caloric deficit, meaning you burn 3,000 calories a day, you're only eating 2,500. Over the course of seven days, you're gonna lose around a pound. So macronutrient composition can be very different. Calories do matter. But when it comes to keto diets, the thought pattern is, is that when we don't give our body any carbs, our body goes into this interesting metabolic state called ketosis. And what that means is our brain normally wants to use sugar in the form of glucose that we get from our diet to function. And when we don't get enough glucose, aka we're on a very, very, very low carb diet, like a ketogenic diet, our liver starts producing these things called ketone bodies that can actually fuel our brain function. So our liver turns fat into ketones, and then that can fuel our brain and our muscles, and there's a lot of benefits to that. But do understand, to really get into a full-blown ketogenic state, your carbs have to be incredibly low. And so do your proteins. So the normal amount of protein you'd eat on the Fit Father meal plan is way too much. That would kick you out of ketosis, because what your body can do is it can convert protein into carbohydrates and use that to fuel the brain. So if you eat too much protein on a ketogenic diet, um, it kicks you out of ketosis. So we'll get to why that's a little bit problematic for people who wanna be on ketogenic diets long term. Um, but the idea is, is that for people who are going from bad diets a standard American junk food diet, and then they hop on a ketogenic diet where they're restricting all of their carbohydrates and they're mostly eating some nuts, some seeds, olive oil, avocado, and lettuce, basically. That's a true ketogenic diet. Um, they're cutting out a lot of these crappy processed carb foods that get people in trouble. Breads, cereals, snacks, chips, ice cream, all these carb foods are gone, so people start feeling a lot better. But the problem with the ketogenic diet is that it's highly, highly, highly restrictive. I mean, you couldn't have a chicken breast on a ketogenic diet. Too much protein, it'll kick you out of ketosis. Now, if you were to follow a very strict ketogenic diet, and again, you're pretty much just eating avocados, nuts, seeds, um, some oils, and some green veggies. I mean, that's the basis of a true ketogenic diet. Um, it's low in protein too. If you were to do that, some benefits are that your body becomes very sensitive to carbohydrates. So if you're going from a place where your body's really unhealthy and you're carb resistant, you're insulin resistant because you've had so much junk food, ketogenic diets can help you uh, lose some weight on the front end because um, it's honestly hard to eat that many calories when you're eating so few foods in general. Um, but the problem is with the sustainability of the ketogenic diets are very low. Um, ultimately, it's very hard to even eat out at a restaurant because the amount of chicken or those dried cranberries they might put on your salad is way too much. It'll kick you out of ketosis. So it's a very restrictive diet. It's very therapeutic for people who are uh, have a lot of weight to lose on the front end. It can kickstart you in the right direction. And a lot of the initial weight that you do lose on a ketogenic diet is actually water weight because your muscles store uh, water 
when they store carbohydrates as well. So when you deplete the muscles of carbohydrates, you also lose some water weight. So when you reintroduce carbohydrates after a ketogenic diet, you regain some weight. That's a natural thing that happens. So with our philosophy here at the Fit Fowler Project, we respect ketogenic diets. They have benefits to getting you kickstarted and cleaning up. Um, and they're actually quite healthy for your brain. Your brain functions really well in ke ketones. And uh, when you're not having blood sugar swings from a bad diet, people feel a lot better when they're on a ketogenic diet. But it violates some of the principles here at the F Fit Father Project. And that is, it's not necessarily simple and it's definitely not sustainable for most people over the long haul. And so when you come to us here at the FFP, you know that we have a balanced approach to nutrition here at the Fit Father Project. Our Fit Father Meal Plan includes a balanced amount of protein, carbs, and fats. And that's essential because now you can eat a wider array of foods and you can stick to your meal plan, whether you're out on vacation, you're eating at a restaurant, you're in the office, you're at home. That flexibility and habit formation is what's more important than following a really restricted diet that's only going to work for a short period of time. So that's why, although we are not a huge fan of doing full-blown keto diets, um, we do respect the people who do choose to do that. Now, when you're on our more advanced programs, our phase two and our phase three, we start doing some intermittent fasting. Meaning we take days where we do some short-term fasting and guess what happens when you're fasting? Your body produces ketone bodies. So you get some of these benefits of ketone bodies, you're just not in full-blown ketosis. So that is the skinny on ketogenic diets. Most people screw them up. Most people who think they're on a ketogenic diet are just really increasing the amount of healthy fats that they have. And they're probably eating way too much protein for a true ketogenic diet, which remember is low protein and low carb and extremely high fat. So what we prefer is a more balanced approach where you get to eat some of your favorite carb foods. You don't have to like say no to a beautiful nutritious food like some organic berries, which are amazing for you. Some of the best foods on the planet, you know, that would not be allowed on a keto diet. It's allowed on a flexible plan like the Fit Father Meal Plan. So we like simple, we like sustainable. Um, keto can really help change people's lives in the short term. It's a really tough thing to stick to long term. Um, and so we like a flexible approach where you can have all the different macronutrients. You're watching your calories in a very simple way. And if you fast regularly, you get some of the benefits of the ketones. So that's our approach. And that's why we include fasting in phase two and phase three. Um, so I hope that clears it up. If you've had any questions about ketogenic diets and look, um, if people throw away that, that term around like keto at equals fat burning, yes, your body does burn fat to make ketone bodies, but you could not make any ketones and still burn plenty of fat. Ketogenesis and fat burning are not the same thing, even though people use these words interchangeably. Um, ketogenesis is that process that the body's responding to a starvation of carbohydrates where it starts doing this special metabolism to make ketone bodies. You can burn plenty of fat without ever making ketone bodies, so they're not the same thing. And as you know, with the weight loss results you've, in, you've probably experienced here with us at the FFP, you know, you can definitely eat your carbs and lose all the weight you want. So I hope you found that helpful. Again, this Q&A series is open, so uh, we'll send you a reminder email every week as a Fit Follower for Life member where you can just drop in uh, the form, type in the form, let me know what your question is. I'll film it on video and we'll add this to your program library. So hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next Q&A video series. Talk to you very soon, my friend.